big camera, big lens, a tripod, and we're gonna hike up onto the downs. We're gonna get past this field that's been ploughed. You can see big flocks of pigeons, and feral pigeons in the main. I just love it that sparrows like to find a nice thick bush and then they sit in the bush chatting to each other. Oh, <laughs> but because of me, they stopped. So I back away a little bit, see so if they start up again. That's it, I've walked away, I'm no longer a threat, and they're back having their conversation. And it was a time sparrows seemed to disappear, I hardly saw any sparrows, but they seem to be back now in full numbers, which is good to see. So we're leaving the houses behind us, and we're heading up onto the downs. We've had this tropical storm come through, and of course that means we've had a bit of rain. So, the down starts to get waterlogged, and we end up with little lakes like this to wander through, not too bad. Whew. Been up here a few times, haven't we Billy Bob, just recently? Another autumnal day on the South Downs. Um, a bit drier than yesterday. We haven't had the heavy rain that we had yesterday morning. Um, I think there's still a little bit of water in here, which is me so often, feel the rain drop. But uh, just like being up here. Beautiful countryside, beautiful flora and fauna, slippery path, however. Keep off the white, keep off the white stuff, it's like ice. I really don't want to put myself on camera falling over. And this is this is where the over the passage of time foot, footsteps and rainwater have eroded this chalk path down to the actual chalk. And once that chalk gets a bit wet, it's as slippery as snow, slippery as ice. Looks like snow and it behaves like packed snow. Here's a view of where we're going towards the new section of the vineyard. Um, obviously just planted those vines oh, recently. They're not producing yet, I don't think. But um, yeah, you can see the, the older vines are now very autumnal and yellow leaves. Load of long tailed tits and uh, goldfinches around here yesterday. Don't seem to be here today. Oh, wait, what's that up in the tree up there? A little group of birds up on that tree up there. I might try getting the long camera on that. Yes, as I thought, goldfinches are a pretty little bird. Um, quite often see them this time of the year um, on the seed heads um, feeding on the seeds. So we're set up on a nice bank overlooking a lot of scrub on the uh, other side of the track. Uh, not a lot of activity going on at the moment. I have seen a couple of kestrels. Um, that they seem to have moved on. It might be that because of all the activity on the, on the uh, vineyard that all the sort of small birds have moved on somewhere else. So we'll, we'll sit here for a bit, see if we don't see anything. If we don't, we'll move on somewhere else. 
The world is our bivalve mollusk, as they say. So this is this is the, our view of what we're looking down on. Um, we're sort of looking down into the tops of all these little bushes and trees, just looking for small bird activity. A lot of uh, a lot of birds flying around. I wonder if that is the field fairs turning up. Could well be, couldn't it? Field fairs or red wings. They look like field fairs. And they'll be coming here to uh, polish off all the hawthorn berries. And the rose hips. I don't know if they eat rose hips or not, but they certainly like to eat hawthorn berries. So as, as our transit summer species leave, we get our winter species turning up. The winter shift. Billy Bob, he's becoming a patient um, spotting dog, so he's helping spot. Come here, come on, Billy Bob, come on, come here. <laughs> come on, go on, come on. Right, so there's a sign there, which is obviously blown off somewhere. But the thing to note on it is in that top left-hand corner, probably a fox. They, they do like to scent mark their thing, so they pick higher spots. And you can see that that fox has been eating seeds or berries with a big seed in the middle. I wouldn't be surprised if they're not slows he's been eating, actually. So Done his business down here as well. If it is a fox, I don't think it can be anything else. Right, well, we set ourselves up on the path here. There was an awful lot of bird activity just now, but uh, not seeing so much now. And the green woodpeckers were having a right old ding dong, but uh, they seem to have gone quiet as well. Oh, there we go. Woodpeckers up there somewhere. If you want to fly, woodpecker fly. buzzard flying around up here somewhere. It's making all the pigeons fly. There it goes. Can you hear it? It's calling. There it is. Disturbing the pheasants as well. There's a fox up there, maybe. This is where we saw that fox chasing a pheasant the other day, just about here somewhere. But it might even be there. Buzzards soaring around over there, quite a long way away though. I'd love to get a green woodpecker, but it's so difficult. all this beautiful bird noise, beautiful silence, quiet, and then people have to talk at the top of their voices. What's that about? Enjoying myself though. All right, we've got a kestrel um, perched on the, precariously on the end of a twig. Um, obviously taking the lazy approach to uh, hunting for its prey, just sitting there waiting for something to come out. Um,
There's a lot of digging activity gone on here. I suspect it's badgers. Although, one of the giveaway for a badger set is that they, they exchange their bedding and you get areas of, of the old bedding that's been turfed out. And I can't see any sign of that, so it could be a fox. A bit too big for rabbits. I know there is a badger set here, so it's probably it's probably the badger set. I'd quite like to come and camp up here one night. Uh, quietly, see if we can observe the badgers. Obviously, we should be a little building in amongst it, dug into here at some time. Lots of old excavations through here. As I say, it's quite an old long-standing badger set. So, see a lot of fresh digging going on here as well. See the trail going through underneath here, going up and through. Can't see any signs of any track. I think this is where we're gonna, gonna set up our camera there's some quite big excavation going on up there and there are some quite defined trails going down through here as well so it might be rabbits it might be rabbits but um, let's give it a go see what we pick up during the night uh, it's nice and off the trail so it's unlikely that the camera's going to get pinched um, but um, Every chance we'll pick up rabbits, foxes, and possibly badgers. So let's uh, let's get it set up and uh, give it a go. If we manage to capture anything on the trail cameras, I'll put the footage in the at the end of this video. So we're going to use this tree here. Um, mount the camera. At a sort of a badger eye level, about, about that height, I think. Yeah, it is set up on that tree, it's quite nicely camouflaged actually. You, you, unless you were looking for it, you're not going to see it in the trail. Um, We'll see, it's a bit of a, there's a bit of a black art to getting this right. Um. So the camera trap is set, um, still a little bit of light. Um, we're gonna go and sit for a, half an hour or so, see if we can't see some woodpeckers. Push the ISO up on the camera and hopefully we might get some grainy shots of woodpeckers. Still trying to perfect getting decent wildlife um, video. Getting stills, but it's getting the video to focus. It's, there's an art to it, and I haven't got it. Um, but keep on practicing, and uh, who knows? Tonight might be the night. The thing about, as the trees all die away, is you start seeing the nests. And I think that's probably a squirrel dry up there, actually. It looks like a squirrel dray. Could be magpies. But uh, yeah, plenty of squirrels around here. Plenty of squirrels around here. Now, as we say, the downs is natural grassland, or it should be, but it has been, and it's particularly in this area, it's been well cultivated, which reduces the diversity of the plants and flowers that grow out in the open spaces. Um, but in the, in the lee of these hills, in the lee of the downs, we have these corridors of um, wild growth that uh, are allowed to just continue. Pigeons. You get these these creeping plants. I'm not sure what these are. 
um, which just engulf it. And who knows what's living underneath there. It's probably fox set under there. Or rabbits. Badgers. Deer, a lot of deer up here. A lot of roe deer up here, so very secretive. Just ones and twos, unlike the fallow, which are in large flocks. Haven't seen much sign of fallow up here, but I have seen roe deer. And again, put a picture up of some roe deer that I saw skedaddling across the fields the other day. This is a, it's the shortcut back onto the top, so it's a bit steep. Don't tend to come this way normally. But there was a tree fall here um, a couple of days ago and it's opened a gap in the fence and it's provided a nice log for me to sit on. So that's where we're heading. And then we're looking up into these trees and these trees are well woodpeckered. I managed to get some shots of Greater Spotted the other day, which we will feed in to the video. But what we haven't got, and the woodpecker that I want to see, we have seen them, they're here, because I've seen them and I hear them, these are green woodpeckers. But you see them flying through, making their loud call. I'm sure there's sparrow hawks up here, all sorts of things. Oh, there's woodpeckers there. Just seen a green woodpecker. Now green woodpeckers, despite their name, do spend quite a lot of their time on the ground eating ants. So they should be ant peckers, green ant peckers. And they do, they do drum and they do pick, take grubs and insects out from underneath the bark. They're the biggest of our common woodpeckers, three types. Greater spotted, lesser spotted and green. Um, I thought I'd seen lesser spotted the other day, but when I examined the pictures, I think it was just a greater spotted woodpecker. The markings were wrong for a lesser spotted. It looked quite small though. Yeah, birds are coming into the roost now. We haven't got long. Oh, speak of the devil, just seen a woodpecker go up onto the tree there. So, yeah, lots of, lots of woodpecker activity. Let's try and get down and get the camera up there. Big lens, because GoPro's not going to show up much at all. And this is the place where the tree came down. Obviously, the landowners or South Downs National Park will come along and they've cut the tree back to allow passage through here. And they've been working on this because my nice stump for sitting on's gone. Hmm. Do we have to rethink that? Oh, a lot of woodpecker activity. Bit of bob. I don't hear it, but the jackdaws are all making a din as they go home to roost. And here comes the rain. <laughs> don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here. But we have had some quite heavy showers <laughs> today. So I'm just hoping this isn't the start of another heavy shower. Yeah, I knew you could get across there. Right, I did have a plastic bag somewhere in. Ever popular bin liner. 
many uses. There's several things in this world that you can't live without. Bin liners, cable ties, black masking tape. What else? Bungees, I suppose. Bungees have a million uses. Interesting to see if we've got anything on that camera tonight. A bit more investigating, find another likely spot for it. Oh, woodpecker. Up there, well, bloody would be up there, wouldn't it? Oh, I can't get the camera on it. It's gone. Gone. Would be up there, wouldn't it? A nice awkward spot to film. Yeah, I've set myself up in this nice open vista here and it's gone to the side where it was impossible to get a shot of it. You can see why the David Attenborough shows the camera crews are out in places for years to get the half an hour footage that they, they want to make their documentary about. And I'm out here for a day or so. Hello, and then we're just sitting here for oh, woodpecker, woodpecker, bloody hell! Hang on, gotta go, gotta go. Well, I got several still shots of a green woodpecker, but I couldn't get couldn't get a movie of it. They are a frustrating bird to photograph. They do not sit around for very long. At least that's been my experience. But we will persevere, we'll keep on with it. Got some good stills of great spotted woodpeckers. So, again, very brief movie. But we'll put it together onto the video and uh, let, you judge, let you judge yourself. side of that branch. Every so often I just see a little flash of it. I'd like, to be, I'd like to be able to get up in there and find myself a little place I can sit up in there. But it's getting through this first initial barrage of brambles. I wonder if where this tree's come down there's a way through there. Possibly. Yeah, possibly could get up through there. Do that another day. And we're running out of time now, so. Yeah, I reckon we could get up through there, climb up through there and then we're in. I did eventually manage to get up into into that area behind the uh, three brambles and I was able to capture these shots. Well, here we are, looking for woodpeckers again. And there's definitely one up in the trees up in front of me here because I can hear it tapping.
So there we have the uh, Greater Spotted Woodpeckers, just showing the, how difficult it is to actually get a movie shot of them. Um, and here's some stills that I took earlier of the same birds. Um, a bit more obliging than a still camera for some reason. While we were waiting for the um, woodpeckers to make an appearance, we did manage to, I did manage to get some shots of squirrels. Um, very active at the moment, squirrels, they're obviously um, storing food for the winter and I think they're also mating, so there's a lot of um, behaviour going on. Um, but of course with mammals, uh, the majority of the activity is at night and to, to catch that on film, you have to use a trail camera. And so let's have a look at some trail camera footage as well things that we managed to see uh, when I set my camera traps up. The end of another great ramble on the South Downs. And we got some great shots of woodpeckers this time, so we're happy with that. Me and Billy Bob, Billy Bob. Whee. Fresh back from chasing rabbits, I think. Um, and it's the first day of lockdown, so there's nobody playing golf on the golf course, which means that we can walk back across the golf course, which is very nice. And it's a beautiful day, beautiful day, we have a few more like this would be nice.